A slip on a snowy sidewalk in winter is a small thing. It happens to millions. A fall from a ladder in the summer is a small thing. It also happens to millions. A slip or fall produces a subluxation. That subluxation is a small thing. The subluxation produces pressure on a nerve. That pressure is a small thing. That decreased flowing pressure produces a diseased body and brain. That is a big thing to that man. Multiply that sick man by a thousand and you can control the physical and mental welfare of a city. Multiply that man by 130 million and you can forecast the prophesies the physical and mental status of a nation. So the slip, the fall, the subluxation, the pressure, the flow of mental images and diseases are big enough to control the thoughts and actions of a nation. Now comes a man, and one man is a small thing. This man gives an adjustment. The adjustment is a small thing. The adjustment replaces the subluxation. That is a small thing. The adjusted subluxation releases pressure upon the nerves. This also is a small thing. The released pressure restores health to a man. That is a big thing to a man. Multiply that well man by a thousand and you step up the physical and mental welfare of a city. Multiply that well man by a million and you increase the efficiency of a state. Multiply that well man by 130 million and you produce a healthy, wealthy, and better race for posterity. So the adjustment of the subluxation to release pressure upon nerves, to restore mental impulses, to restore health is big enough to rebuild the thoughts and actions of the world. The idea that knows the cause, that can correct the cause of disease, is one of the biggest ideas known. Without it, nations fall. With it, nations rise. This is the biggest idea I know of. B.J. E. Palmer, 1944.